Hi guys, Mashu here, and welcome back to Steam Next Fest. Today we're going to play a game called Sable, and I am very enthusiastic about this one because it's also being published by Raw Fury, which is also the publisher of the Kingdom series, which I really like. So I'm very curious what that means for this game, and I think we should just jump into it. Okay, I have no idea whether this game can be played properly with a controller, but I'm just going to try, because it seems one of those games that you can play with a controller. So I have my Xbox 360 controller here. And uh, let's see what that will bring us. Worst case scenario, you can always switch back, right? Chatworks. Those are developers of this game. I tried to see which games they made more as well on Steam, but until so far I could only find Sable. And, uh, well, I'm very curious. This is only a demo. I'm not sure whether it's a time demo or level limit demo, but we'll see. That's a pretty cool, cool art style. Pretty unique. Alrighty, so this is Sable. That's cool, all those floating particles and everything. That is really neat. Okay, so I'm, I was checking a little bit because I had some um, some screen tearing issues just now, but I, I just forced V-Sync, so that might solve the issue. Let's just hope this recording goes well. Okay, well, that opens the door. No... Secrets hidden? No? Okay. A to jump. Alrighty. And we jumped. No fall damage. No fall damage. Move towards the wall. Begin climbing. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say... It feels a little bit... This climbing stuff feels a little bit like Prince of Persia for some reason. I know it's not a comparable game at all, like art style wise or anything else for that matter, but it kind of feels like it. I think we're supposed to go this way. I don't think there's any hidden... Is there? No, I don't think so. This is really cool art style though. I, I like that. Okay, so letters don't cost any stamina. Duly noted. Crouching. Ah, uh, L. There we go. I mean, we could also go down there. So I kind of kind of want to double verify whether we're correct. Ooh. Wow. Where did we end up? That is a crazy art style, though. That's really nice. I think we have to go that, that direction. So if we just jump, jump down, will everything be fine? Okay. I don't think we can go back now. <laughs> I hope we didn't miss anything important. Um, do I just jump down? Is that how this works? No fall damage till so far. Okay, hold down B to sprint whilst moving around. You can only sprint whilst you have enough stamina. Alrighty. That's pretty fast. Okay, now we need to wait for the stamina to build up. Ibex camp. Cool. Hello there. What's over here? Cool. I can feel... Jade is smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? <laughs> and yet... I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. 
The movement is jerky and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it. But I do know who, how you are. I, But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started. And then you'll act like you've been doing it for your whole life. Alrighty. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little cl uh, claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman. And how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those little, little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Teddy reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. Take a breath. I take a breath. <sighs> I think I'm ready, guys. <laughs> You think I thank JD for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are, so let's get you started. You'll need to talk that Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something, well, let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what JD is saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you, we'll see you off. Um, I'll be back soon. I'll tell JD I'll be back soon. I tell I tell JD I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out here. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly. So that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak to Hilal. I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sidzo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you: a compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my on my gliding. An artifact. Uh, an artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighed and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. Alrighty. Uh, compass. Oh, cool. So that will point me in the right directions. That is that is neat. Oh, that's very convenient. Okay, so it's this dude. You are Hillal then. Saw dude. Uh, as I approach Hillal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hillal's ver verve and vigor. And... On a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Hilal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel warmth not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but from emanating but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and I find it so softly electric like static on cloth. What's this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Hilal what this is. I like how the the text after that, after you've said this, describes what you've just said. It's, it's kind of funny. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What what do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel the connectedness? Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hilo claps their hands. Hilo claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple. So go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember JD's words now, and I'll tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. Alrighty. Um, 
Yeah, I don't have that button. Because that's for an, uh, a newer controller. Okay, activate the gliding stone at the altar. Uh, and then we had our compass. So let's follow where we need to go. What is that? What are you? Postbox. Logging in. Dot dot dot. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Have a good day. Okay, that was that was not a lot of unread messages. For sure. Where's Driss? Driss. Where are you at? Oh, wow. I dropped down pretty far. Driss. Driss. Activate the gliding stone near the, near the altar. Okay, but I still needed to see Driss, right? Driss was over here somewhere. Let me just pass by Driss real quick, and then we'll see what happens. Oh, Driss. What's that, dude? Though I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all like, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to have a hold of lately. But I now strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What what will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable, uh, hello. Hello, how are you today? I asked Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he just had. <laughs> your bike. Yes, of course. Right. Yes, your bike. And that was meant to... That I prepared for you because today is your... Gliding. Yes. Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course, right, yes, yes. Uh, I do have that... My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which, I mean, I arrange it for you in a well... In a well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial? Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by mm, taking a test ride uh, on a different bike. I think about it and I find I find I've never heard of that part of the gl of gl the gliding but this does seem earnest sort of So instead of worrying about your bike I'd like you to try this bike as a test This gestures uh I always pronounce it that word wrong Gestures gestures to the sand cutter at his side It's quite old and a little shabby a tester if I've ever seen one I'll give it a go. Really? I mean, yes, good. Be gentle, though. This sand cutter's older than Jedi. You treat her with respect. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Uh, okay. That seems pretty cool. Ooh. Strafe. What does strafe do? Drive. Oh, I see. That's pretty neat. That feels really nice. Fly back to Driz. Because this is his. It's smoking a bit, though. I'm not sure how good that is for the environment. <laughs> How, how do I get off again? Oh, there we go. Neat. That was neat. I returned to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplaining hissings? Hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Uh, Yeah. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. See, I was saying that there was a lot of smoke. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Oh, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by Hilal? Uh, oh, right. I'd nearly forgotten about Hilal, and thank Driss for the reminder. Before last, last nudging him a little about the bike, I asked him if I still... Be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? 
And he also got some something to show you too. I'll help you out with uh, more of that um, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hillel. No, we've been to Hillel. We need to activate that. I know what to do. Oh, was it? Uh, there was something that we... Yes, okay. Uh, let me... Whispering stones. Where do I... Yes. And now I can probably... Yes, find it on my... There we go. Let's try not to crash this, uh, this thing. That's pretty cool. The art style is very... I don't know. I've never seen something like this before. It's, it's pretty cool. Is this the altar they've been speaking of? Yes, I do think so. Oh wait, do we have to go up there? Because this seems like it's... Yeah, I don't think I can enter here, can I? Ew, that fell off. So, let me see whether there's a way around this. Yes, I think we have to approach from this side. This seems like the reasonable thing to do. Let me see whether there's maybe a... Oh, no stairs. Okay, we're gonna approach from this side. Cool. I like the way it navigates. Feels very natural. Good job. Let's activate this thing at the altar. I think it fell apart a bit. I think this was supposed to be a road or something you could drive up to. I don't know. I'm just making this stuff up as I go. That stamina climbing, that feels a little bit like Genshin Impact for some reason. I think that's just because that was the first time I ran into something like that. Ah, yes. Okay, so you can jump first. That will save you a lot of stamina. But I cannot jump up like you can do in uh, Genshin. No problem. That's also more realistic because I've never seen anybody just jump up like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, you have those pro climbers, right? Okay, this is the altar, right? This is where I need to be. Oh, what's this? What is that? Birdie? Hi, Birdie. Oh, that's probably where my car... Where I left my car. It's like Google Maps. You you park here. Okay. Whoa! Krabby Patty. Well, now we're stuck. I think that was supposed to happen, right? Yeah, we're never going to climb up there. At the altar. Okay, where is the altar? I see something glowing. That must mean goodness. I'm so happy that I got that, that uh, V-Sync issue fixed. I had to start the game quite a few times. I, I think that's more of a me problem than a game problem, though. Ooh. Neat. Now it plays really relaxed. I like that. I like how the walking animation is a bit funky. That's it's funny. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Uh, yes and no. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know, know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Was that where we started off? Is that Rohana then? Wow. It's like an ancient remote control. I think that's one of those things that you use for a VCR or something. That looks really cool. Whoa. What just happened? I'm very curious what that just did. Are we okay? Oh. Well, up we go, I guess. <laughs> Where 
Where did we end up at? Oh, that was a rough evening. It's a cool mask. What's on that? Press and hold A to glide midair. Okay. Whoa, no way. I expected a kite or something, but that is that is really cool. That is really cool. Look at us fly. I mean glide. Do we have stamina for that? Okay. I feel like we could go up here. Yes, that is exactly where we had to go. I think we just need to get our way back over there. Or we just fell off. I see a little box about Xiang. But is that something? Yes, that is definitely something that I want to check out. How long can we glide for? Is this like... Money! Wow, that sounded like a very... Um, what is it? Chinese instrument? You know, you have the Beijing Opera. Then he also played this like... Ding, ding, in the background. Oh. Okay, we're good. But was that a secret? Because if this game is full of secrets, I want to know the rest of the secrets. I love secrets. Look at us glide! This is so cool! And we're back! Is it me or did everything just get a little bit more colorful? Okay, do we go back to the glider? I, I think we will. Yes, oh yeah, we have to go back to Hilal. Activated gliding stone. This is very convenient. But look at us go. I think I can just land on top of my my what is it bike. That is awesome. And very convenient. Okay, let's drive home. Accelerate. Will be cool to get a little bit more speed though. I, I think eventually you'll get upgrades for this thing. That that seems definitely something that will happen. Or I'm gonna get one that's well, you know, not constantly on fire. Because boy this thing smokes. This is nice. Ibex camp. Whoa! Wow! Okay, no worries. We're good. Apparently, if you take a ramp... Ooh, what's that glowing over there? Oh, that's the, the thing I went through. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go to Hilal. Oh, Hilal? I just got myself an activated gliding stone. You know that remote control that you just gave me? Apparently, it's something completely different than what I thought. It's for the DVD player instead of the VCR. What's up? When I return to Hilo, it's clear that they know that what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf. In a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Uh, exciting. Through freedom. I tell Hilal that hovering is exciting and ramble for a moment about all the things I'll be able to do when I'm out, out there in the world. Most of them involve me falling off, off my head and not getting hurt, but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice. Right? You can do anything you want. Hilal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's the best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might have never come come back from gliding. I'd just be out there he heaving myself into chasms. Oh, okay. So it's a thing. Apparently, if you get older, it, it goes. I'll heave, myself into cha I'll heave myself into chasms for you. I tell you all that throw myself in, in, into a thousand chasms on their behalf. And they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. 
takes a really serious focus. He lol laughs, even there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide, decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, and my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there. But the world's an easier place if you would joy first. I thank you all for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Hillel. Before I go, Hillel gest gestures towards the tower. It seems Tzitzo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Okay, to the tower it is. That gliding is really cool. I think that's really, really dope. I would just use the smoke to... Nope. <laughs> Thought maybe, you know, warm air. We're gliding. That would be pretty neat. Okay, I think I could have approached it from the side where the stairs start, but that's not me. I like to take the <laughs> unbeaten path. Nice view, though. That's where he came from, right? Yeah. Ah, you're Sidzo. Hey, Sidzo. What's up? Sidzo is an outlander to the Ibexi. But I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall. And I think her of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go to where they are needed. But Sidzo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular. That our designation of Ibexi versus Outlander suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Sidzo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Excited for my bike. Sidzo has a, has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mouth when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, JD told me how excited you were. Sidzo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. Don't begrudging Driss. <laughs> Don't begrudge Driss's his forgetfulness. Where I task with so many odds and ends, I might just be as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts yourself. Really? <laughs> Am I going to make my own hoverbike? I asked this. And see, though, if I'm expected to make my own hoverbike. No, you're not going to make your own hoverbike. You're going to build your own hoverbike. Uh, of course. To make should suggest that you're creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form. But your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. What? Here, take this. The navigator. Sinzo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I asked Sinzo where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships. In fragments spread, spread apart. A good start would be to ship down there near the camp. You'll find another one up that great rock near the other side of the canyon. And another one behind the old dam in the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you know it. I tell Sitcho to see you soon and I head off in the search of the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. Alrighty. Using your navigator. Press RB to use the navigator to mask, mark interesting landmarks to appear on your compass. You can also add and remove markers from 
that was too fast. I'm reading very slow, guys. How do I do this? Oh, I see. Where do we have to go exactly? Is that over that red spot over there? I have no idea how far that is. Somewhere over there, I suppose. Place a marker. Hey. Place it. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. I have placed so many markers. Okay, I think in that direction. And then over there somewhere. But first, let me get my hover bike back. Or, I mean, the one that I borrowed. Oh! Whoops. Okay, daylight. Yes, that will make the searching easier, I suppose. In this direction? And one near the dam or something? Hello, I come searching for parts. Yes, this seems like somewhere... Wow, what happened to this ship? That is cool. Yeah, this definitely went down. For some reason. Why is it still burning? Ooh. Wow. Take a look at that. Ah, cool. I like it. How do I get in? Yes, there's nothing of use to be found in the ship. But I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Uh, push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. The distinct sound of someone slapping somebody else's hand crackles out of the speakers. Sorry, Ramin. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if that old ma machinist... <laughs> that old, old machinist told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. Some sort of mechanical adjustment seems to be being made. I hear the sound of three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Ramin. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before our snapping sound. Oh, on Rahona's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly the speakers are filled with static, crackling and low rumble that seems to gradually increase in pitch and frequency. And then the sound sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! What sounds like an ungainly person dancing around on a metal surface plays out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramin? Let me check what the ma machinist wrote down for us. A long pause, the whining static sound that started playing when the ship took off seems to be increasing in frequency. It sounds like the ship ship is picking up pace. Suddenly, what sounds like pu someone pulling and pushing on every button they can as quickly as possible plays out. Ramin? That lever you just ripped out, Toma. That was how we slowed this thing down. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off here. <laughs> well, okay. Um, I was already kind of curious about the story behind this ship, but now we know. That is, that is very nice of you, game. Thank you for telling us a story. I like these kind of stories. Well, I'm, I feel sorry for Ramin and... Um, what? Hi there. Are you looking for a calibrator? I nod, and Saima looks gleeful. She's always been a mis mischief maker. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. Bruh. Uh, I need it. Do you? Oh, well, maybe you'll find it on your own, but I don't think so. Oh, oh. Simon laughs off my irritation. I compose myself. I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I'll give you the calibrator. I'll give it to you, but I want some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. Beetles? I think you need a beet thing. I still will sigh. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Ah, oh, man. From one quest into another. So I see why we needed this ship though. Because we're definitely running errands now. Oh, can we go through here? What is, what is bouncing up and down over there? You guys see that? Whoop. Camera went to the floor there for a second. 
Okay. I saw something. Yes. What is that? Chum mag. Cool. Perfectly round and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to put these. I think in my inventory would be marvelous. Where do I see my inventory? Yes, they are in my inventory. Nice. Okay, well, that's a thing. But I still need the... Uh, what was it again? The other thing. I like the, the music and everything. It's pretty cool. Let me fly to the dam. Or, I mean, ride. Because it's a bike. I suppose. Ooh, okay. Maybe I gotta slow down before this thing starts, you know, being on fire or something. Hello, I have come for a power supply, control panel, or anything of the likes. Do you have such things? Okay, I see, a I see some stairs there. I see a box there. So. Uh, X. Can I open this box? No, I don't have the, the willpower for that. Or the tools, I suppose. I think this is where we have to go. It feels like... Yes! Valuables! Money! What is this then? Uh oh. Okay, I was a bit afraid that we would accidentally drop... Like, make water... Flow here. But apparently there's no water, so we're good to go. Or else we might just flood our whole village. Okay, so that was a button. But how do I flow in that direction now? Oh, I see. I see already what I have to do. I see a pair of... No, that's not stairs. Is it? No, it's not. Then how do I glide to the other side? Could I just glide from here? If I jumped, I might have been able to. Oh, I think we're still good. Yeah, no, we're good. On the edge of the amount of stamina we had left. We managed to get to the other side. I see a button or something. I see a battery. This is the way back up. So I think we're just going to glide in that direction. Okay. We can pick this up. And we can put this down. I'm curious what it's in, what's in here. But before we go in... I do ever think, guys, that that's it for this episode. I must say that I really enjoyed this game. It's It has a very distinct art style, no, nothing that I've seen before. And I think I will definitely get the complete game once it's out. I'm I'm very curious where this is going to take us. I think I'm going to do a second episode on this demo. Um, so, if you like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, leave a like or a comment, and I will see you in the next one. See you next time, guys.